Here's a match that Matt and I had from a kind of Wonderlock that we had. Although, instead of, like, the normal Wonderlock rules, we just picked Wonder Traded to get six Pokemon at the very beginning of the game and went from there. So we knew what each other's teams were, so we were able to plan accordingly. But anyway, so he starts off with Tyranitar, and I start off with Linoon, and I set up my substitute as the Sandstorm Rages, and he throws out some Stealth Rocks to try to um, whittle down my team. So I get buffeted by the Sandstorm through the substitute, and I use Belly Drum. And now that I think of it, I really shouldn't have used Substitute oh, anyway, but oh well. So now my attack is maximized, and I'm eating my Salak Berry, so I am ready to sweep. If only the Sandstorm wouldn't ruin me. So he uses Earthquake, takes out my Substitute. And I get buffeted by the Sandstorm. But now I use Play Rough. And that's gonna just annihilate it, because it's super effective and I have max attack. So I take more uh, Sandstorm damage, so I'm not gonna be able to do much more of that. And the Spinda gets Sucker Punch off, so... Linoon's already down. I wonder if I would have been able to take that if I hadn't used Substitute, but oh well. At least I got rid of Tyranitar. So next I bring out Altaria, and I'm going to try setting up with that. I use Dragon Dance. And Spinda uses its own dance, Teeter Dance. The Sandstorm goes away, and I recover some damage with my leftovers. So I'm going to set up Dragon Dance again. I managed to get it through the confusion. Awesome. So the Spinda uses Power Up Punch to boost its attack after I set up. And it hits me with a Sucker Punch. But it doesn't do too much damage, so I Dragon Claw it. And I predicted that it was going to try to use Sucker Punch again, so I just used an extra Dragon Ants to get that much more attack, speed, and health. So that worked out well. And now Spinda uses Sucker Punch right again, and that time I just go ahead and allow it, and I take this thing out with an Aerial Ace. So out comes uh, Swampert, and I'm going to Dragon Claw that thing. And even with three attack boosts and a critical hit, I still can't take it out. That's insane. So it kills me with a stone edge. And I bring out Gallade, and he's going to kill it with Leaf Blade. But now let me take the time to explain my amazing camera up strategy that I didn't get to use in this battle. So... I got a camera up that had solid rock, and I gave it the moves uh, Sunny Day and Solar Beam, and it's holding a Pasho Berry, so it's my ultimate water type uh, counter, because someone would send in a water type to counter it, but in that turn I'd set up Sunny Day, and then water attacks would actually only do .75 times normal damage, so it would do less than the normal amount, and then I wiped them out with a Solar Beam, so I was ready to take out Matt Swampert like that, but I didn't get to. But anyway, so I got toxic by this Lee Vanny, and I use Poison Jab, and it doesn't quite kill it, but then it gets poisoned, and that kills it. So I, I'll take it. So Gallade gets hurt by Toxic, ouch. And out comes Charizard. Charizard used Fly. So it's flying up there. I'm surprised it didn't Mega Evolve, because when we were starting, I was like, oh, I can't believe 
I can't get the Mega Stone to my only Pokemon that can Mega Evolve in this game. But you can. Come on, let me have it. He wouldn't let me have it. But oh well. And this is the Pokemon I was talking about. Maynek Trick. Because, of course, it's post-game. But anyway, so Charizard hits me with a fly. But it's not very effective, so that's okay. And now it Mega Evolves. I guess he was trying to get Stab on the fly, but now he doesn't need that. So now it'll resist my electric attacks, but I only use Thunder Wave anyway, so that works. And it nails me with a Flare Blitz. And that's gonna take me out. So I send out Worthless, my High Dragon, some scum of the earth named a dino worthless. Come on. High Dragon's the best Pokemon there is. I almost take the Charizard out with a Dragon Claw. I can't believe it lived it. And so he's gonna hit me with a Dragon Claw. Ouch. And it takes my poor High Dragon out. Oh. So I bring out Gallade. And just in case he... I take point of stone damage. And just in case he switched, I decided to use a move that is Poison Jab to be super effective against Sceptile. And it looks like that worked, because that's exactly what happened. And now the Sceptile's poisoned. I'm getting the poison hacks in this battle. So it's almost dead, but not quite. We're both poisoned. I take poison damage. And now the Sceptile is going to be faster and use Leaf Storm, but it misses, and I use Poison Jab to finish it off. So now all Matt has is a paralyzed Mega Charizard X with, like, 2 HP left. So it's looking good for me. Octavia sent out Charizard. Gallade used Close Combat just to be dramatic. And sure enough, that's the match.